We're back, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, the U Sports Report. We're here to talk about everything sports, national, local. Shoot, even kindergarten sports we'll talk about. Kindergarten sports. I heard kickball is a big deal at the Flying Squirrels Kindergarten. Yeah, they had a quadruple overtime game. They did. That's yeah. a pretty big game for some yeah, kindergartners. Yeah, that's huge. That's huge. But we're going to move on to something else that happened in the number of four. The Yukon Huskies. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The Lady Huskies got out there, and they did something absolutely special. They won another national championship. That makes it four in a row. First time ever in the women's game that one team has won four championships in a row. Isn't that amazing? It is. And until now, UCLA's men's team was the, first, the only team to have a Division I four championships under their belt consecutively. That's right. They pulled it off. And here, this is one reason why. Shooting. Every team, every member on that team contributes, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Gino Ariema led by Brianna Stewart. Brianna Stewart becoming one of the first players to win four in a row. Absolutely a fantastic player. Is easily, hands down, going to be the first overall pick in the WNBA draft. We just got to give it up. Nice little round of applause to those ladies for really dominating and just pulling it out. I think they lost them maybe three games in four years. Yeah, and with stats like that, that team, there's no question that they're a dominant women's basketball team, but is that maybe ruining the excitement of women's basketball for you at all? No, I enjoy watching them dominate. I also enjoy watching this team lose, so it's really not much of a problem for me. Um, everybody else has to rise up to their level of competition and see if someone can dethrone them. Sure, I've heard a lot of complaints on ESPN, social media, other things like that. People think, you know, it's a pain in the butt that this team keeps winning. But you can't really complain because in almost every sport, there's at least one team that you can count on to have some major wins, and why not UConn's women's basketball team? That's right. They've been doing it, and I think they're going to keep doing it for a while. But we got baseball highlights. UNM, hey, listen, the UNM baseball team is good, guys. They're pretty good. They're good. They're doing good things. Yeah. They're number two in the Mountain West right now. Um, Fresno State is number one. Right now they're facing off against UNLV this past weekend. Two major games for UNM. In this first game, we saw Chris DeVito, and again in the second game, dominate for his team, a powerhouse for UNM. They, they just did it. They ran the running Rebels out of New Mexico. They did. They sure did. And right now, it's 5-1 to one UNM. But after this, the floodgates open, and UNM ultimately wins 15-3 to three over UN UNLV in their first game. 15 to 3. That is what you call a butt whooping. That is a butt whooping if I have ever seen one. Cool. And they were celebrating some big things. I believe their head coach made the Hall of Fame. He did. You know, UNM's head coach was inducted into New Mexico's Hall of Fame this weekend. We'll touch on that a little bit more later on, but he's one of a few people locally that were inducted. That's something special. Ray Birmingham, got to give it up to you for leading the Lobos and just doing a great great job there we go this is even more we're just watching this onslaught take place ladies and gentlemen and this is game number two that i believe the lobos were able to pull out as well they sure were like i said before chris devito was a dominating player for unm he has the most home runs in the mountain west with eight okay. he has the second best in the mountain west with a batting average of 416. okay uh, 41 RBA, RBIs, making him number one in the Mountain West and okay. number one with the most hits in the Mountain West with 47 hits this season. Does it, does it tell me, those numbers tell me in my crystal ball that this young man has a professional future? I think so, but you know, UN, or UNM's own Luis Gonzalez is right behind him with 42 hits, so I think UNM's got some pretty big names to keep an eye on. UNM is doing it. Maybe if they can sprinkle a little of this winning mojo on the basketball team and just throw a little <laughs> bit in the football team's Gatorade. Sure, yeah. We might see some real domination in the Mountain West from UNM in all athletic Oh, I like that. Domination led by the baseball team. Yes. Look at that. How about the switch of everything going on? Your world is now rock, ladies and gentlemen, just like mine is. The Lobos are absolutely pulling it off and doing their thing fantastic. We uh, like we said before, Ray Birmingham, UNM's head coach, again, inducted into the New Mexico Hall of Fame. Big things. And UNM won their second game 10-5 over UNLV. 
just a great weekend for UNM. Absolutely a great weekend for UNM. And this weekend, got something big going on. The battle for first in the Mountain West Conference. The Fresno State Aztecs are taking on the UNM. Sorry, is, this, is it the Aztecs? I completely, the Bulldogs the from Bulldogs. Fresno State. Fresno I'm getting, State getting my Bulldogs. mascots mixed up over here. It's a <laughs> wacky Thursday. The Fresno State Bulldogs are coming here to New Mexico to take on the Lobos for a two-game stretch. And the Lobos, ladies and gentlemen, are going to win. High five on that. High five on that. They're going to win. And you can catch it all on UABQ Channel 27 this weekend. We'll have all that coverage. All that coverage for you. More sports coverage coming up here on the U Sports Report.